All right, this is Cassia in the Southwest. This is the 2469 floor plan. This is an eight foot high door and then a garage door. Uh, the garage door is seven foot high. So this is the downstairs room and uh, they did it with the French double doors. So looks like this. Okay. And then there's also a restroom next to it. So this is a powder room. So the toilet with the mirror and faucet uh, sink. And then this was a Murphy bed, so they could actually lift it up if they wanted to. And then they put a little office desk here, some bookcase. Uh, and then there's under the stair uh, storage and a jacket closet. Okay. Over here they put a little table. They stage it with a table. You could actually put a you could actually put a sofa if you want. Over here they put a little uh, table as well with a mirror. There's a window looking out into the side lot. And then over here they have some furniture staging it with a formal dining room and then an open living uh, area or great room and then there's a patio so whenever you get the uh, new build it will always come with a dirt lot landscaping will range from three to ten thousand dollars okay here they have some cabinetry uh, it has the nickel finish okay uh, this one has the extra the, um, it's supposed to slide out, but I think it's off track right now. So, or maybe for liability reasons, they don't have it sliding out. There's a Whirlpool fridge. So all of the appliances are new and staying. And then this is corner pantry. So they made really good use of the room. If you can see... So this is corner pantry. Okay. The light, you could walk in if you want a little bit. There's a vent in here also. And then this is the counter. So uh, it's like an island, you know, because there's the sink here and then there's cabinetry uh, for storage. Again, this slides out. The sliding drawers are nice. Garbage disposal. Okay. This is a Whirlpool dishwasher, four burner gas range, and then a microwave hood. They have the exhaust that goes out over here. Okay, cabinetry is soft closing. And then a double-decker oven. Okay, so we're gonna look into the staircase. So the staircase has carpet. I always love the rounded staircases. There's the banister. We're heading up. So as soon as you get upstairs, to the right is the loft area. Okay, and then also the hallway to the rest of the rooms. To the left is the laundry room. And then the linen closet. And the French double doors leading to the master bedroom with a ceiling fan and light. This is pretty spacious. You can see they have full-sized uh, nightstands. They have another space for cabinetry over here. They mounted a flat screen TV on the wall. There's some, there's a bench over here and then a couple chairs with a little table. So this is to give you the idea of how much room you have. Uh, so this is a king size bed. 
Looks like a queen, actually. Queen size bed. And then there's curtains on, there are curtains on both sides. This is a very spacious walk-in closet with a door to close it if you really want to. That's eight foot high. Some shelving over here. Okay. Over here, there's sliding doors with a full standing shower. And then you could sit down also in the shower if you want. His and hers sink. Private bathroom. Okay. And then this is the flooring that they chose. It's ceramic tile, a gray hue. And then this is the carpet, it's low pile. Okay. And then kickboards, about uh, two inches high. And then this is the paint finish they chose for the wall. Okay. So let's take a look at the other side. Okay, this is the, what it looks like. So this is room number two. Okay, this is about 11 by 11. There's a little extra space there for the door. And then there's a walk-in closet. Okay. So this is room number two after the master or primary bedroom. Okay, there is a full bath in here. Okay, tub shower combo. Okay. And uh, all of these are upgrades. So you can choose those in their upgrade, in their studio. This is room number three. This is like a junior suite. Again, we're in the 2469 floor plan of the Cassia Reserves. They also did ceiling fan here. Let's say this is like 14 by 14. And then here is the walk-in closet. Okay. Okay, so bathroom, full bath for room one, two, oh, I missed a room. This would be, I guess, room number four. And there's a sliding door closet. This one's probably 11 by 11. So... This one is like 14 by 14, 11 by 11. And then this one is 11 by 11 also. And then here's the loft. And then the primary bedroom. Washer dryer room. And then the downstairs. So this is 2469 square feet starting at uh, let me see. 